Okay, I still don't know if I like it. <laughs> I actually went to Sephora today and had them do my eyes because I wanted to try out a new, um, I guess like a new look. Not with black necessarily. I wanted to actually try like a lighter color. Um, but I wanted to try with black just to see how hard it would be with black. And um, it doesn't seem to be that hard. So I'll be able to replicate it with another color. So anyways, dark makeup or no dark makeup. I am here to talk to you about something very specific. So what I want to share with you is that there is uh, something that happens with women and it's been, I've been seeing it a lot with some of my clients where they are, you know, at least when they come with me at first, they, or, or they have this pattern repeating for themselves where they just uh, have a never ending to-do list. They just uh, pretty much fill out, fill up their entire, um, calendar, day, entire schedule, every day, day in, day out, uh, with things to do. And yet, they feel like they're not getting as far ahead as they could be getting because they uh, are not doing the right thing. So there's two types of tasks. There are the tasks uh, that, you know, need to get done, but for the most part, you know, if you really weigh it, you're going to see that for the most part, they they don't have as much way to bring you in the direction of your desires. And then you have the tasks that are, um, they can be either inspired actions, so like things that you just like, he, you're feeling that, you know, the universe is sort of like telling you this is what you should be doing right now. Or there could be also things that, um, that you know that you should be doing and the universe is telling you that you should be doing and yet you're resisting. So you are filling your schedule, your to-do list with a never-ending amount of things that are of much less consequence and they are not getting you anywhere. So <laughs> that to say, uh, I am going to invite you to do something that I share with some of my high end clients. So I invite them to really write down a list of everything that they have to do. And then, um, the, that's including everything. So like the inspired actions and then the regular actions. And then you can start really putting them into categories based on, you know, the energy that they have. Are they really, um, those things are really going to bring you forward. Of course, you know, in order for you to, you know, do this or that, uh, like say that you have a big project going on, there may be small tasks associated with it. And yeah, there is probably one thing that holds more energy that will bring that project forward more than anything else. And that's the task that I'm inviting you to put to the forefront, even if it's a challenge for you, even if you have an issue around it. And this is a way to really start using uh, a, a timeline in a way that is really, really, really effective. So... If you're looking for other ways of, you know, bringing yourself into priority, bringing yourself into um, learning how to organize and how to how to really understand what's behind, like what exactly is happening and why you're not um, you're not being able to. Let me see what I want to say. If you're finding yourself in that space of always having an ever ending to-do list, then there is a strategy that I have put together called the set strategy. And if that's something that is calling to you, then you will want to go there and check it out. So the link for that one is going to be included with this video. I'm going to share it with you here. And please go there if this is something that has been really causing havoc in your life, it will really support you in 
ditching that never ending to do list and stepping into momentum. Okay, all my love. Bye.